In the whirlwind of the 2020 election, a seemingly innocuous tweet by Kamala Harris, then a senator vying for the vice presidency, would later resurface under a cloud of controversy. The tweet, which at the time seemed like a routine expression of gratitude, would come back to haunt her in ways she could never have anticipated. Harris had expressed gratitude to Sean Diddy Combs, the music mogul, for hosting a town hall on racial inequality, a pressing issue that had gripped the nation. The town hall was seen as a significant moment in the ongoing conversation about race relations in America, and Harris's acknowledgement of Combs's efforts was widely praised at the time. Fast forward to 2024, and this tweet resurfaced, but not in the way Harris might have hoped. The political landscape had shifted, and the tweet was now being viewed through a very different lens. What was once a commendable gesture had become a point of contention. Diddy's arrest on serious charges of sex trafficking cast a long shadow on this seemingly harmless digital exchange. The news of his arrest sent shockwaves through the entertainment and political worlds, and suddenly, Harris's tweet was being scrutinized in a whole new light. Social media, never one to forget, erupted with criticism. Users from all corners of the internet began to dissect the tweet, questioning Harris's judgment and the implications of her public support for Combs. The tweet became a focal point for debates about accountability and the responsibilities of public figures. The phrase didn't age well echoed across platforms, a stark reminder of the ephemeral nature of online interactions and the potential pitfalls of public association. The digital age has made it so that nothing is ever truly forgotten, and past actions can be brought back to the forefront at any moment. The incident underscored the harsh reality of life in the public eye. For politicians and celebrities alike, every word and action is subject to intense scrutiny, and the consequences of even the most well-intentioned gestures can be unpredictable. Past actions, even those deemed insignificant at the time, can resurface with unexpected consequences. The digital footprint left behind by public figures is permanent, and the context in which past statements are viewed can change dramatically over time. Harris's tweet, once a simple thank you, became a lightning rod for criticism, highlighting the complexities of navigating public life in the age of social media. The incident serves as a cautionary tale for anyone in the public eye, reminding us all of the enduring impact of our digital words and actions. As the world continues to evolve, the way we communicate and the way our communications are perceived will undoubtedly continue to change, making it more important than ever to consider the long-term implications of our online presence. The music industry, known for its glamour and excess, was shaken to its core by the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs. The news spread like wildfire, leaving fans and industry insiders in a state of disbelief. Diddy, a name synonymous with success and opulence, now found himself at the center of a scandal that threatened to unravel his entire legacy. Federal authorities accused the hip-hop mogul of running a sophisticated sex trafficking ring, a stark contrast to his carefully crafted public image. The charges were severe, alleging that Diddy had orchestrated a network that exploited vulnerable individuals for years. The gravity of these accusations sent shockwaves through the entertainment world, casting a shadow over his illustrious career. The allegations painted a dark picture, claiming Diddy hosted lavish parties that masked a sinister operation. These events, often attended by the elite of the music and entertainment industries, were now under scrutiny. What once seemed like glamorous gatherings were now being reinterpreted as fronts for illicit activities, leaving many to question their own involvement and the true nature of these parties. Drugs, coercion, and sexual exploitation were allegedly commonplace turning the world of music and entertainment into a hunting ground for Diddy's alleged crimes. The details were harrowing, with stories of manipulation and abuse emerging from the shadows. The public was left grappling with the stark contrast between the public persona of a beloved artist and the dark allegations that now surrounded him. Diddy's legal team vehemently denied the charges, proclaiming his innocence and denouncing the prosecution as a gross miscarriage of justice. They argued that the allegations were baseless and motivated by individuals seeking to tarnish Diddy's reputation for personal gain. The defense was prepared to fight vigorously, promising to expose the truth and clear Diddy's name. However, the damage was done. The court of public opinion had already begun to form its verdict, influenced by the relentless media coverage. Every new detail, every leaked piece of information, added fuel to the fire making it increasingly difficult for Diddy to maintain his innocence in the eyes of the public. 
The media frenzy surrounding the arrest, fueled by salacious details and shocking accusations, threatened to permanently tarnish Diddy's reputation. Headlines screamed of betrayal and scandal, and the once celebrated artist found himself vilified in the press. The narrative was no longer about his contributions to music, but about the alleged crimes that now defined his public image. The case sent shockwaves through Diddy's family as well. The allegations not only impacted his professional life, but also struck at the heart of his personal relationships. Family members, who had always stood by him, were now faced with the daunting task of reconciling the man they knew with the accusations being leveled against him. His children, accustomed to the privilege and protection their father's wealth provided, were reportedly blindsided by the arrest. The sudden shift from a life of luxury to one overshadowed by scandal was jarring. They struggled to understand the gravity of the situation and the potential consequences for their family. The weight of the allegations and the relentless media scrutiny left them reeling, forced to confront a side of their father they never knew existed. The once unbreakable bond of family was now tested by the harsh realities of the legal battle ahead. As the case unfolded, the world watched closely, waiting to see if Diddy could reclaim his legacy or if the allegations would forever define his story. As the 2024 presidential election reached fever pitch, a doctored image surfaced online, adding fuel to the already raging fire of misinformation. The image, a crudely altered photograph, purported to show Kamala Harris alongside Sean Diddy Combs. The implication was clear, to link Harris to Diddy's alleged crimes and damage her credibility. The original photograph, taken in 2001, told a very different story. It depicted Harris, then a rising star in California politics, with Montel Williams, the talk show host, and his daughter at a charity event. The doctored version was a blatant attempt to rewrite history, replacing Williams with Diddy's face in a clumsy attempt at deception. Despite its obvious falsehoods, the image spread like wildfire across social media. Donald Trump, Harris's political opponent, shared the image with his millions of followers, further amplifying the reach of the misinformation. The incident highlighted the ease with which falsehoods could be disseminated and amplified in the digital age, blurring the lines between reality and outright fabrication. The sharing of the doctored image of Kamala Harris and Sean Diddy Combs was not an isolated incident in the world of Donald Trump's online activities. This particular image, which falsely suggested a connection between Harris and Combs, was quickly debunked, but it highlighted a troubling trend. Trump had a documented history of sharing misleading content, often blurring the lines between fact and fiction to further his own agenda. His social media accounts became a powerful tool for spreading misinformation, reaching millions of followers with each post. This strategy was not just about gaining political advantage, it was also about shaping public perception and controlling the narrative. This pattern of behavior raised concerns about his judgment and his willingness to exploit the power of social media for political gain. Critics argued that his actions undermined trust in the media and eroded the public's ability to discern truth from falsehood. The controversy surrounding his posts often sparked heated debates and further polarized an already divided nation. One notable example involved Taylor Swift, the pop music icon. Swift, who had been vocal about her political views, found herself at the center of a digital deception campaign. An AI-generated image surfaced online, falsely depicting Swift endorsing Trump's candidacy. The image was crafted using advanced deepfake technology, making it appear highly realistic and convincing to the untrained eye. Swift, known for her political activism, publicly denounced the image, exposing it as a fabrication. She took to her own social media platforms to set the record straight, urging her fans and followers to be vigilant about the information they consume and share. The incident served as a stark reminder of the growing sophistication of deepfake technology and its potential to deceive the masses. As these technologies become more accessible, the line between reality and fiction continues to blur, posing significant challenges for individuals and institutions alike. California, a state at the forefront of the tech revolution, took notice of the threat posed by deepfakes, particularly in the context of elections. The state's tech industry, known for its innovation and forward-thinking approach, recognized the need for proactive measures to combat digital deception. The state enacted a new law, the first of its kind, aimed at combating the spread of deepfakes 
and holding those who create and distribute them accountable for their actions. This legislation marked a significant step in the fight against digital misinformation, setting a precedent for other states to follow. By addressing the issue head-on, California aimed to protect the integrity of its elections and ensure that its citizens could trust the information they received.